likely a stormy start with those scattered showers and storms into Sunday after about 11 o'clock noon or so. It's just going to be light rain showers after that, but I would still have the umbrella handy anytime that you're out and about uh, through tomorrow. If not, though, 27 storm track weather app. You can see that QR code right there. You can download that and see exactly what's going to be happening in your area with our interactive radar, but light rain is going to stick with us through Sunday afternoon and evening. Finally coming to an end Sunday night. Clouds will slowly decrease and we'll see more sunshine dry conditions into Monday. Additional rainfall totals here. We're looking at an additional half an inch, maybe up to an inch, especially over towards really the, the far southern part of the uh, of the state here, southwestern Wisconsin. This is for tomorrow on top of what we've already seen, which we saw a healthy rainfall Thursday night and now we saw more today. I think even some areas in western Dane County, also parts of northern Grant County, over three inches of radar estimated rainfall here. This is a good rain for us, did not really lead to any flooding. So that is good news unless it was uh, just quick runoff off the street there, but going to your 48 hour rainfall estimates. This takes us back through Thursday night. A nice beneficial rainfall for all of southern Wisconsin, which is good because we are now in a I believe a moderate drought. Some of us are in southern Wisconsin, so we needed the rain and we got it. We have another chance to see con continue to see some rain through tonight and through tomorrow as well. 67 is your high temperature for Sunday. We're dropping to about 64 tonight. You're not going to see temperatures really warm up too much tomorrow because of cloud cover and rain. So we're going to stay in the mid 60s all of Sunday. 69 high on Monday, 70 on Tuesday, but we're back to 75 on Wednesday, 77 on Thursday. Another chance for a couple of showers are going to be with us late Monday night into Tuesday. Other than that, it looks like we're going to be fairly dry, but less than what is that? Eight hours now is the first day of fall. That's at 743 AM tomorrow where we have equal amount of daylight and night time that sunrise will be at 645 sunset at 653. We'll continue to lose that daylight, of course, through the next few months there until we head towards the first day of winter. But tomorrow is the first day of fall. We've got those showers there through tomorrow. Temperatures in the 60s for Sunday and Monday 70 on Tuesday. That slight chance of a couple of showers there, and then we will start to warm back up the upper 70s by the end of the week. But even then, I'm like, it's not too bad.